Now, Premiere Elements gives us the means to create and animate very simple titles and also very complex title sequences. So let's see how we can do that. Now you see on the screen already uh, that uh, we have a sequence that I've previously created. I'm going to keep that on this timeline because I want to make use of it shortly. Um, so what I'm going to do is push the playhead up past it, get rid of that for the time being and utilize the space that comes after that sequence just to uh, have uh, a bit of experimentation with titles. Now the quickest way to get to the means of creating a title is to click this little default text button here on the bottom right of the preview monitor. So let's just click that one and you'll see right away that what it does is it adds a text object to our video one track uh, on the timeline. Now we have some text in there and we're being invited to add text. So let's just click uh, into it and highlight the text and then put uh, something, whoops, something quite original like our vacation. Wonderful. Now that comes in the Adobe Caslon Pro uh, default text in bold, but uh, maybe I don't want that. So uh, let's have a look for something else. I can access any of the typefaces that I've got installed on the machine and I think they offer up a few as well. So let's just go for, I don't know, um, that one. Now that's Arial Narrow in bold and you can see that I can uh, select different weights and different styles for the text so I can go to italic and bold italic and just regular or bold and I can change the type size so if I uh, just hover over the text size um, value there with the mouse click down and then drag either right or left I can expand the size or decrease it and I can also change the positioning of the text called kerning as well if I want to. And I'll just click up there, make this an object and put that in the beginning, in, in the middle of the um, frame. Now I don't know if that's dead center, so I can check that. I can say that, uh, oh, I can click this button here for vertical center and it puts it there. And I can click this one for horizontal center. So now I know that it's centered properly. And with the text, if I just double click back into it again, I can actually change it in, in all manner of different ways. Um, if I click this one, I'll put it dead center in the box for a start. And um, then I can, if I just uh, check down through some of these um, preset textiles, I can uh, add additional changes if I want. So, you know, I can... Um, uh, I can accept one of a number of options that are that are provided to me, which include not just textile but also size and style as well. So you know, uh, it's color, it's you know whether it's got drop shadows or that kind of thing. And um, it might be that we can find a style that's appropriate to the project that we're editing without then having to do too much more work. Um, and in the first instance, it's probably a good idea just to take one of these just to really get you moving in your editing project. So let's just stick with that one for the time being. And that's our, our vacation. OK, so if we go down to here now, we can see that we have that as a simple five second static title. Now I can do a number of things with that if I want to. Let's just go to transitions. And um, if I select, uh, say, something fairly basic, if I go to um, dissolve, for instance, and I'll pick our favorite cross dissolve and I'll put that onto the beginning, I can have a title which fades up like that. And if I uh, put the cross dissolve at the end, I can have it fade out. And now this is very adventurous. OK, so here we go. It fades up two, three, four, and then fades down like that. And that's... Um, you know, that's a beginning. If I just kill the values that I've just applied to that there. So now you can see with this sequence back here um, that if I were to pick this up and th throw it onto a different uh, timeline track, I could put it along here and up to there. What I now have is the title over the beginning of our sequence. And I can put it literally anywhere, really. It doesn't matter where like this. Now what's happening is that uh, because the title itself is text on a black background, the black background is the mat through which the remainder of the video sequence, in other words everything that's on layers below that one, will show through. So so that's, that's our sequence uh, there. So now what I can do if I wish is that I can again apply the cross dissolve to it at the front and uh, if I just play it like this that's my 
title over the video sequence. There, like so. And uh, of course, if I want it to last longer, I can just stretch it out. So I can pull it up to here if I want, and then, and then just do that with it. So uh, there it is again. And that's the simplest way of introducing a title to a movie. In further modules, we'll look at um, slightly more complex ways of creating titles.